Upgrades. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS Move Review brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. This film here we're about to review is Wicked Little Letters, and it is directed by Thea Chirac. It stars Olivia Coleman, Jesse Buckley, Angela Vassin, Timothy Spall, and here's a quick synopsis of it. Based on a true scandal that stunned 1920s England, the story centers on two neighbors, Edith Swan, who is played by Olivia Coleman, Rose Gooding, who is played by Jesse Buckley, in the seaside town of Little Hampton. One day, a series of, of obscene letters begin to target Edith and others, with suspicion falling upon Rose. As the outrageous letters continue to escalate, Rose risks losing both her freedom and custody of her daughter. Policewoman Gladys Moss is determined to find the real culprit, and along with a group of other women, seek to resolve this perplexing mystery. Ready to synopsis, but this is an extremely funny movie here. The way that it is framed around Little Hampton and about these letters that I can't repeat anything that is talked about on screen with these letters, as even from the opening of the letters being read, we get Timothy Spall, who plays e, who plays Edith's father, who Edith is played by Olivia Coleman, in the film, as he brings the police to his house so he can let them know what these letters say and let them know who he thinks is writing these letters. It is an extremely funny scene to open up to this film as he's reading the letters and things that are being said about his daughter. Hilarious, the way they set this up from the beginning. And then when we get to re meet Rose's character, played by Jesse, she is as, up as obscene as the letters are <laughs> with the way she uses language. And again, for this time period and her being... A woman with a child, you wouldn't expect her to talk or act the way she does. And she does it because she freelies herself. And that is what makes this such an interesting story as we quickly get to the point of them convicting Rose, arresting Rose, and then we get to the hijinks of this film. But throughout all the comedy, throughout all the building that they do here, we see that Edith and Rose at one point in time had a rather growing friendship before an incident happens and it just puts them on opposite sides of one another. What we still get here is a film that is as much about family, as much as it's about finding out who wrote these letters. Even uh, uh, Angela, who plays uh, Detective uh, Moss here, and we see we learn part of it is that her father was a cop. That's why she wanted to be a lady cop, because they repeatedly repeat the phrase, Lady police officer, Moss, because why wouldn't they say that if you just blind and can tell that she's a lady? It's it's a hilarious setup that they do. But we also see her wanting to stick up for Rose and just saying, hey, how are we 100 percent sure this is going on? At times, it does feel like that bubbling, bubbling British humor where the cops aren't the smartest people in the world and something is right in front of their eyes and they're refusing to see it. But it works here because of the great performances from Jesse and Olivia. Edith and Rose are two of the most interesting characters I got to see on screen in this festival. I'm not saying the best, but they're extremely interesting here. And they're interesting because they're so honest about who they are. Edith's character is a character who loves the spotlight, loves to play the victim, even if she may not be a victim, but she loves to play the victim. And she plays up on this as the papers do stories on her and it makes her feel like she's worth something. While Rose, on the other hand, is just someone who's just honest about everything and can care less about your feelings. She's, as as we would say, she has no coof at all when she speaks. And that's what really separates everything here. But in the end, this is a, an extremely funny film. Is it a film that I think is a crowd pleaser? It is a great comedic mystery that happens throughout this entire film about these letters. And I'm just more intrigued that the director was able to pull off a film that's shot beautifully, that's set up beautifully, that I love the score of this film. I, I just love the way they use the music to set up some of the action pieces in this film. It was amazing to me. But I'm just surprised that Thea, who was the director, was able to come up with a film that is Totally entertaining from beginning to end. And all it's about is some obscene letters. Especially in 
today's climate of the world, you would never assume that all of this would be or all of this would happen for someone writing letters and that that would be an interesting thing to watch on film. But it's so good when you're watching this film because it's so funny. It's one of those little little surprises at film festivals of films that you may not know that are coming out, but the pedigree behind the camera and the pedigree on screen makes you want to check it out. And then you watch it and you're just blown away by everything that happens. And that's how I felt watching Wicked Little Letters. So Wicked Little Letters brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. Out of a possible 10, I am going to give Wicked Little Letters an 8 out of 10. This is an enjoyable film. I love this film. It's one of the few films that I saw in this festival that I feel I can repeatedly watch over and over and over and over again. And I would laugh at the jokes the same way I did the first time to the same way I possibly will the 10th time of watching it. It's just beautifully set up humor. And it, it's so smart in a way we, the way it frames the case around Rose and just the characters of it. You love everybody, even in the supporting characters in this film that I didn't bring up. You love them because they feel so authentic to the story. And that's the most important part. But check it out when it drops. Let us know what you think. This has been another JVS Movie Review brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. Peace, people.